Hey guys, what's up? Liberates here, and as you can probably tell, that's going to be the effect we're making today. So, uh, basically, it's just like a nice outline of your gun with a light orb, and it looks pretty good. So, we're going to be working in After Effects with this one, and what you're going to need is something called Null Light Factory, and it's a plugin for After Effects, and um, you can get it for free. Just type it in on YouTube, and you're guaranteed to find something. And it's not a necessity, but it is it makes it look way better and it's easier to do this effect if you have Twixter so let's get started so I'm, I already have my clip right here and so I'm just gonna drag this into Sony Vegas and what I want is that I get, you may have noticed that I've already used this this clip in a sync tutorial but I'm pretty low on clips right now so <laughs> okay so what I want is after he gets the little no scope right there I want his gun to get outlined as he's pulling the bolt back so I'm gonna split it right there and then we'll go out to where he starts to kind of turn like that so right there so now I'm gonna take these yellow markers and I'll just go around it like that and I'm gonna render this just this little region out so make sure render loop region only is checked and I'll save this as um, hot tots yeah that's right okay so now that that's rendered, <coughs> I'm gonna drag this into After Effects. Now, okay, now drag this to your timeline, and um, I'm gonna go Composition Settings, and uh, it's about 0.15 seconds. So I'm gonna make this around three seconds long, just as a little base start. So now you're gonna go Layer, Time, Enable Time Remapping, or Control Alt T. Okay, now we gotta apply Twixter to it, so remember you don't have to do this, so, you know, but it makes it look way better. Okay, so go to Revision Plugins, down to Twixter 4.5, and as I've said before with my render settings, the input frame 29.97L looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. If I put it up to 60, which is what it actually is in the render settings, then it gets really skippy and it just looks awful, so I'm gonna keep it there and I'm gonna change the speed to 25 so now as you can see it cuts off so we need to pull drag this out this is why we enabled time remapping drag this out to where the clip basically freezes so we can see it goes forward and you can see it freezes right there so okay so now I'm gonna pull this back to that mark right there and I'm gonna change the composition settings to 125 because as you can see that's where it freezes 125 it'll just make it easier to work with so 125 okay good so now you can see we just kinda got him walking and pulling his bull forward so now we need to add the actual effect to it so you're gonna go effects and no light factory and LF glow now what you're gonna do is you see you get this cool little glowing magical orb and oh that was not supposed to happen so I'll try and put that back if possible uh, whatever okay so yeah you get this thing so now I wanna change the scale because it's way too bright so I'm gonna change it to about 0 0.75 and now it's a little bit better but it's still kinda bright so now we're gonna, I'm gonna change the global brightness to where it's just kind of a little glowing speck okay we're good now actually a little bit more would be good yeah that's good alright that's perfect now I'm gonna change this to a red color because that always looks hot and the inner color be a nice orangey and the outer color will also be an orangey okay so now what we wanna do is we gotta we're gonna start this I'm gonna start it at the base of the gun right here so we're gonna go we're gonna click down on or, well I gotta click on this again and then go to effects down to LF glow and now we get all these crazy settings which is basically just this or this except for down here so now I'm gonna go to the position or the location and I'm gonna click this little stopwatch which means keyframe and so now as we can see it kind of you know actually can't really see anything I don't know why I said that but okay so now we need to kinda make it go along with the gun so we're gonna go ahead up to around 10 frames 
and I'm gonna drag it forward and try to make it as even as possible like you don't want it to like 10 frames go like one inch and then like go to the next 10 frames and make it go like all around the gun like really fast just try to make it look as, as good as possible so now I'm gonna put this at around 14 frames and I'm gonna put this up there and then I'm gonna go to around 18 and put it along the rest of the barrel and then to 20 and then put it right there and then to 23 and we'll put it right there and then to 20 let's see okay so uh, 27 look no 25 for this one and I gotta start going around the rim of the scope and I'm I'm doing a pretty sloppy job right now because I'm just trying to get through this um, you can do this as perfectly as you want you can do it frame by frame whatever um, okay so now we'll go up there and th this actually is not gonna look very good I can tell already but you know I don't really care because this is my second time trying this my last tutorial my mom yelled at me so <laughs> that didn't work very well okay and back put it here and then we'll have it go around the rim so down here and then we'll have it disappear so now we're gonna go right around here and we're gonna go to brightness and we're gonna keyframe it and then we're gonna go one frame over so we're gonna make sure this is what it has been the whole way through the brightness so it's gonna be 75 and then we're gonna go one frame over by clicking this little doodle and then we're gonna set it to zero like that and then you can see it just kinda disappears so now if I play this back you can see it just kinda traces again pretty well it was not as bad as I thought okay so now we're gonna render this out by pressing control shift and Y and uh, I'll just click render and I'll pause this for and then I'll come back after it's done rendering okay so we're done rendering now and here it is hot tots and I would show you what it looks like, but my freaking computer is being retarded at the moment. So basically, we're done. So we're just going to drag this into Sony Vegas. And I'll just put it up here for the moment. And we'll drag this over. And the part that we rendered out, we split. We'll just delete it and put this in its place. So that's it. We're basically we're done. So I guess I'll just kind of give you a preview of this whole clip at the end of the video. So, hold on. Okay. So, yeah. I guess that's it. Um, request a tutorial in the description or in the comments. I always get that mixed up. And for the next video, like, if nobody requests, would you guys like to see kind of a cool sliding transition? Or, let's see, what else do I have to offer you guys? Not much right now. Um, would you like to learn more about Null Light Factory? I c like making an artificial light in the sky just tell me in the description or request something all right thanks guys see ya